hello everyone so welcome to this new video in this video we discuss about the toolbar settings for our cat block right now you can see this our first block is not selectable at all but if you go to other blocks for example let us go to the heading block and you can see it is selectable and a toolbar is visible at the top of this uh, block so how can we add this type of feature for our custom block so this whole area is called a toolbar and this is a toolbar group and these are called a single toolbar bottom so you can see there are one group and there is an another group and inside this single group we can see there are three toolbar bottom and here we have three and if we expand this one you can see there are more toolbar buttons are available so we can say this is a single toolbar and inside the single toolbar we have two groups one is this so toolbar group and another this one and a toolbar group contain can contain a uh, multiple toolbar button so i think you understood this matter so first let us try to enable the toolbar for this custom block so if you want to do this one we have to go to our edit function and you can see this is our edit function right now it doesn't have anything here so if you want to use this uh toolbar for our custom block so you have to use a block props blocks prop means i will get some blocks information for our blocks and this information are generated by dynamically so if you want to get all of this information we have to use use block props function or method let's just call it as a variable it can be our the block props and use use block props this block props is a method and it is coming from our plugs editor let us try to import this one so this block uh, is block props and generate some uh, information uh, for our blocks in our editor even it also give you a class name that will be generated based on the name of this block so if you want to use this one inside this area we have to pass this one top of this uh, uh, block parent div so we can we have to use a, a split operator and pass the block props so you can see that we have passed the block props here now if you set this one and if you run the server try to refresh the base now you can see our editor is selectable that's great and a toolbar is visible here right now we don't have any toolbar group inside this area even we don't have any toolbar button right now but our toolbar is visible here and if we try to inspect to this this is what is happening inside this area and you can see a lot of information are loaded for our blocks and you can see this is a class that is generated based on the name of this block name develop block create block and first block so we can use these blocks to style our blocks in the future so now let us try to add the group toolbar group and toolbar button so if you want to use a toolbar group you have to use block controls block controls this is an another component inside this component you can pass any types of uh, component that will be uh, visible inside this block control i mean this toolbar area it also uh, coming from the blocks editor so let us try to import directly here so we have kept this block controls but this block controls is not visible in our case because it is the outside of this uh, written uh, written 
so we have to give this black and tool inside this already done so how can you give uh this one inside this area uh in this case we can do a thing that we want to give this past parenthesis and just give uh the main code inside this area now take this block controls and keep it inside this parenthesis but it is breaking down to the structure of a jsx because jsx only support one parent item one wrapper not multiple wrapper so if you want to fix this issue we can wrap this with a fragment this is the short form of this fragment so we can see we have now only one uh, wrapper this is our fragment this is the short form of fragment you can use this one or you can use a full form of fragment if you source for this fragment in this google you will see gutenberg uh, allow a fragment that is called fragment fragment and it is coming from our blogs uh wordpress element if you want to use this full form of this fragment you have to use like this one now it is working fine but we don't have any toolbar group inside this block controls let us try to add a toolbar group toolbar group this toolbar group is a component that allows to create a toolbar group uh, for a block and we have told about this a toolbar group can include multiple toolbar button so let us add toolbar button it can be our single closing component inside this single closing component we have to pass some uh, props for example the icon of this toolbar it can be our edit icon pass the title for this area like edit and what will happen when we will click on this button for example on click so what will happen we just want to console like something like click, uh, edit click these are uh, components so we have to import this from our components components yeah now everything is fine let us try to refresh to see the result yeah it is working exactly what we are expecting i want to inspect open the console and try to click on this button and you can see now it is working so we can handle anything uh, when we click on this button we'll also learn about this in the future video and we also build a complete functionality of this toolbar button so let us try to add another button also i'm just going to copy we can call it like trust we can call it delete console delete point save and try to refresh and now you can see we have two toolbar button inside a single group first one is our edit and another one is a delete if we click on this delete we can see delete clicked and click edit click we can also create another group also let us do another add any another group just triple duplicate it can be our admin plugins plugins you can go plugins and another admin tools tools now what is uh you can emax the name of this icon actually we are passing the dash icons name we can also use a custom uh, icon also uh, inside this uh, toolbar we'll discuss about this one also in the next video so don't worry about this one so i have added a single icon admin tool let us change this name tools 
Now if we refresh to see the result then you can see now there is two group. This is our first group and this is our second group. If you click and you can see it is working fine. So I think you understood how to add to this toolbar group and toolbar a button. Now if you go to the front end and you can see there is no class is available here. Uh, right now we don't have any class inside this uh, div. So if you want to uh, get this class that is coming from our use block props, you have to do the same things for the save function but with a different pattern. So this is our save function and I want to keep the same things here but we have to pass a save method. That's mean we are taking this and from this area we're just going to take the set function so if we do this block props similarly we have to import this one i want to remove this uh, comments import this one now try to update because it will break down because we have changed on the set function data and it is throwing a validation error we also then in our upcoming video how to handle this item block recovery issue don't worry about this one right now we just want to item recovery manually so it is uh, recovered update and try to see at the front end now we can see our classes added it that is generated uh, by default with the use block props we can also pass a custom class for this um, block. For example, if you want to pass a custom class, then you can pass inside this area. And this is block props except a, an object. And inside this object, you can pass uh, more uh, any kind of information. For example, you can pass the class name. Let us uh, add it like downing first block so you have to do these some things for our front end i mean save the chase and if we go to this area and try to refresh again it will be broken because we have changed the data in our save the chase don't worry about this one now again refresh and you can see our custom class is added it here and it is drumming class first of black so i think i understood how to use this toolbar and how to use us block props and the next video we have discussed about how to add custom settings for our sidebar setting area thank you